always good either. It happened to me recently, I was sentenced by, I left the car at home, I'd go out, I'd get drunk, I'd come out of the nightclub, two o'clock in the morning, same time as everyone else. All the mini cabs, they've been taken. All the black cabs, they've been taken. I know it was wrong, but I was drunk, I wanted to get home, I stole a car. <laughs> I go around the first corner, pissed, <laughs> straight into a police car. Luckily, both officers were killed instantly. I got away with it that time, but um, <laughs> you can't always rely on that one, can you, really? I'm generally law-abiding, you know, I, I drove through Austria, and, and of course when you go through Austria you've got to pay for a little uh, vignette thing for your windscreen, and uh, they're also very strict, they make you buy a high visibility vest thing, uh, which is apparently if you break down by the side of the road you've got to be seen uh, in this high, they're very, very strict about it, you know, it's, it's illegal not to have one, uh, so I had to buy it, I didn't really want it. Um, but uh, anyway, I carry on. I'd actually eaten something dodgy at one of the stations, and I get the thing I know. I get some um, very, very severe, sinister symptoms, and I'm by the side of the road, bloody going to the toilet. Obviously, I wore the high visibility vest, you know. <laughs> got respect for the law. Um, but I'm married. Um, uh, I'm uh, uh, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm married. Um, <laughs> I, the wedding ring. Um, I was getting on a bit and I hadn't got married and I thought I was going to have to buy a wife from one of those countries in the Far East, like New Zealand. But in the end I, I actually married a Hungarian. Any Hungarians in? You get the odd one sometimes. Um, they're fantastic people to marry, Hungarians, very, very lovely people, you know. I mean, it's not without its tension, so don't get me wrong, you know, there's a lot of rivalry between my Hungarian mother-in-law and me over who has the bigger moustache. <laughs> but she's a beautiful girl, she's very lovely. She was an au pair when I met her, um, uh, called Eva Pardic, not my au pair, someone else's she, she was called Eva Pardic, which is a Hungarian name. You know, obviously when we got married she took on my name, so now she's called Dave. <laughs> but she's, uh, she's an Amazonian woman, you know. Well, I say that, she buys a lot of stuff on the internet. <laughs> Are you married? Are you married at all? You ever thought of getting married? I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. Uh, There's all these sort of gimmicks which they impose on you, which we didn't really ask for. Like, when you get married nowadays, certainly in Britain, you're expected to pay some bloke about £400 to turn up with a camcorder, make a DVD of your wedding day. You know, I didn't want it, she wanted it, right? Uh, we had an argument, it ruined our wedding night, about how I labelled the DVD. I mean, what is wrong with my first wedding? <laughs> But I'm a good lover, you know, I'm a good lover in that marriage, you know. We, we uh, made love uh, the other week, and uh, simultaneous orgasm, yeah? Both testicles together. <laughs> but if, if I've got any criticism of her, she's a lovely girl, but she's a bit lazy. Since she married me, um, she, she, she basically, she, she won't do any housework, she, she won't work, she'll, she'll do a part-time job, she won't do any more than that. And uh, no housework. And I, I you know, I'm, I'm liberal. I mean, I, I'm, you know, I like to think of myself as like a non-sexist bloke. I would only expect her to do half the housework. I'll happily do the other half of the housework. You know, she won't do any. We actually have to pay a cleaner to clean the house, who is another Hungarian girl, it's a friend of my wife's. <laughs> And I said, hey, uh, to, to clean the place. And she's one of those new age types, very new age. And I, I thought I knew all the new age stuff, like you get your feng shui, that's a new age thing, acupuncture, uh, shiatsu massage, that's another one, isn't it? Our cleaner, she does a new age thing, right? So I've never heard of this one. See so if you heard of this one, right? Our cleaner, she, she can read a man's fortune by looking at the wrinkles on his scrotum. <laughs> Have you heard of this one? She, she can actually look at a man's scrotum, right? Look at the wrinkles and, and tell his future, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's what we told my wife when, when she got home early. <laughs> but what we like, um, what we like about living where we live, which is in Brighton on the south coast of England, is we're very near Gatwick Airport, yeah, London Gatwick, an easy jet, great big base at Gatwick. We can fly anywhere in Europe for sort of under 20 euros, you know, if we, if we get the timing right. Because EasyJet, they were the first airline, weren't they, to use the internet to cut the costs, make, make flying cheap, you know. I think EasyJet have taken it too far, to be honest, all this internet stuff. If anyone's flown them recently, you might have noticed, right, when the plane's in the air, as soon as anybody uses the toilet at the front of the aircraft, straight 
away. One of the flight attendants goes and stands between the door to the flight deck and the door to the toilet, and they've got their arms folded, you know, in the orange and grey uniform, and they're on guard. I thought that was part of the war on terror. It's not. They're desperate to make sure you don't get in the flight deck, because if you do, you'll see no pilot in there. <laughs> Just a webcam on the dashboard facing forward. The plane is being flown by an Indian pilot in a call centre in Delhi. We, we were circling over Amsterdam for an hour due to fluff on the mouse pad. Any Dutch people in at all? Ah, bedankt, bedankt. I love the Dutch people. I have a theory that if ever aliens come to visit planet Earth, they will choose Het Nederland as their place of landing. Because you think it's through, right? Lots of water, squishy mud, nice soft landing, right? And those aliens would know within 24 hours of landing in Holland, right, in the Netherlands, that the Dutch people would have learned how to speak their language, <laughs> found out what's illegal on their planet, <laughs> I'll be selling it for a very good price. <laughs>